Hi, everybody. On May 30th, we've got a new moon in Gemini at nine degrees and three minutes. Gemini is the sign known for its youthfulness, its curiosity. It rules speech, the first words that a child says, the gest gesticulations with the arms and the hands. What can bring out for you your youthfulness? That's the energy of this new moon. Get in touch with what you wanted to be with when you were little. Oh, this is what I'd like to be when I grow up. What is it you'd like to be, do? Now, as you grow up, some of you may be still very young, but that doesn't matter. Some of you have got old head on young shoulders. The Gemini energy is perking you up with the flavor of youth. So think about what youth means to you and how it feels in your physical body to rejuvenate. This new moon gives you this opportunity for great rejuvenation and having like a renaissance inside of you. Mercury is ruler of Gemini and Mercury is retrograde until June 4th. And at the time of the new moon, Mercury is retrograde in Taurus. Now Taurus is not the fastest of signs and retrograde, it's even slower. So it's probably one of the slowest mental frequencies we could have. Now on some levels, depending what it is you want to do, this could be frustrating if you want to do a million things and juggle lots of balls and make quick decisions and run around and rush around, then this is not going to be the energy conducive to the rushing energy. But it is conducive to deep contemplation, to reflection. Mercury retrograde is trine to Pluto. And this asks you to look at the power of influence. What is influencing your thoughts, your actions, your words? Whatever you listen to, whatever videos you're listening to, podcasts, whatever social media you're consuming, all this has an influence. The people you mix with, the community you're in touch with, like it or not, we do influence one another. So it's a time to contemplate, hmm, are the influences around me positive? Are they uplifting? Are they empowering? Am I empowering others with my sphere of influence? Or am I pulling down? So it's just a time to really think about it. It's a good time to ask yourself deeply, well, why did I get up today? What's the meaning of my day today? You might want to ask that. Gemini is all about asking powerful questions with this trine to Pluto. Dig deeply. You might find yourself asking yourself, why am I here? What am I doing here? This is a time, if you're willing to sit in quiet contemplation, where you may really get the answers to some deep questions that you've been grappling with for maybe some time. We've also got Mercury square to Saturn. And this is a different frequency. This is a wonderful time for disciplining yourself, for using willpower, mental power to accomplish something that you might find difficult. So it's a good time for starting a regular meditation practice, for deepening a meditation practice, for doing anything that calms your mind, the mental processes, calming the breath and the breathing. It's a good time to uh, ex 
exercise, a really, you know, a good program of exercise. It's a good time if you say, I don't want to overeat anymore, where your willpower can be stronger at this time with the Mercury square. Maybe you'll say, I'm not going to gossip anymore. I'm going to give people the benefit of the doubt in situations, no matter what. What is it you resolve to do mentally? Because the Saturn square, if you don't try to do too many things, but you say, yeah, this is really important to me. For me, important to me is that I learn Greek and speak it and read it and write it. So it's an hour a day of Greek, like it or not ready or not, feel like it or not. This is a great energy for that kind of resolve. Delayed gratification, but it feels great if you're willing with the Saturn energy to maybe have a little discomfort and put the work into it. We've also got Mars conjunct Jupiter in Aries at this time. So this is great for new projects, new ideas, surging forward, taking action. Although I would suggest that you might want to wait until after June 4th when Mercury goes direct before really moving forward. It's a time where patience may run thin, angry feelings may erupt. So do whatever you can to work with anger and to, if you've got something going on inside of you, to really uh, see if you can get to a calmer place. Doesn't mean say you can't express your anger in some way, but perhaps don't direct it at a person just in case it might be misdirected. Sleep on it. See how you feel in the morning. Mars and Jupiter can be fanatical. And fanatical energy is out of balance usually. So don't get fanatical about your diet, fanatical about an exercise regime. Yeah, there has to be a balance here because this Aries is a bit like a, a locomotive train that doesn't have brakes. So the Saturn square to Mercury is asking you to think first. And remember that thoughts precede emotions. So it's much easier to change a thought than it is to change an emotion, especially once it's begun to gather momentum. So this is the month to really guard your thoughts. And I'll close with a quote that I think is very pertinent from the Buddha who says, nothing can harm you as much as your own thoughts, unguided, unguarded, sorry. Nothing can harm you as much as your own thoughts, unguarded. So you might want to start a gratitude practice of contemplating your blessings every day, and particularly the blessings associated with Gemini, which is your breath, being grateful for your lungs, becoming aware of your breathing, becoming ever more grateful for your power of speech and to use it as wisely as you can, and for having the blessings of being able to speak, of being able to express yourself, and of having words and of having language. I know how frustrating that can be when you're in a country where you don't speak the language. So be grateful for the language you, you have and see if you can use it as effectively and as positively as possible. So thank you very much for listening. I wish you a great new moon in Gemini. I love your comments. I read them all. And um, I look forward to hearing the things that you are going to discipline yourself to do that will be beneficial for you and for others. And what you're going to do with your power of influence. Much love. 
Bye for now.